Welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the combo box component. So to get us started we're going to create an ActionScript 3 document. Then I'm going to import some images by going to File, then Import, then Import to Library. And I'm going to select the images for today's tutorial. Click Open and we should see them in the library. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to start setting up the stage. So I'm going to say in just a text box select your get away and basically we're going to have this text box on the top and then we're going to have a combo box underneath and then depending on what you select from that combo box will determine what image displays of the destination underneath so I'm just going to kind of center that up a little bit then I'm going to grab the combo box by going to window then components then combo box and I'm going to drag that out and this is looking a little uh, a little small so we're going to grab the um, transform tool here and just basically drag to the right and it'll look distorted but the minute you let go it's going to snap back and it'll look perfectly fine so I'm just going to position that underneath the text and then we're going to select it and give it an instance name of combo box alright so now that that's done we're going to start setting up uh, the timeline so we're going to open that up then I'm going to basically name this layer while we have it um, as the only layer and we're going to say let's call it combo box because that's what's on that layer then we're going to right click and do insert layer and then insert layer again and on one of the layers we need to name it action script so AS and then on another one we're going to put images and I'm just going to drag the images one to the bottom so now what we need to do is actually add our images in and we're going to have the first frame of our images layer blank so that there's no image showing because there'll be things in the box and once you select it then you want the image to change you don't want there to be images right away so we're going to put uh, insert blank keyframe on the frames out to frame 5 and the first one is going to be blank and these other four right here are going to have images so also we're going to right click on this combo box frame and then we're going to do copy frames and then come out to pay come out to frame 5 and do paste frame so that the combo box and text is on each of the layers. So now we're going to start adding our images in and I'm going to go to window and then align in order to help me align those. So for the first image I'm going to go to library I'm going to get out the meadow image drag that out and then we want to make sure that the two stage um, is set on. I'm going to drag this down so you guys can see. We want to make sure that's set on and then what we want to do is click align bottom edge and then we want to align horizontal center and so basically it's aligning it to the center of the stage and to the very bottom of the stage so now that should be aligned and I also just want to align this stuff while I have it here so I'm going to just put it in the middle uh, of the stage so that everything is aligned perfect so now once we have that done we're going to go to the next one and we're going to add in the mountains one put that out same thing since there's only four, I'm just going to go ahead and do this without pausing the video. So we're going to grab the beach image, and then, because this is going pretty quick, then we're going to gra grab the last image, which is the rainforest image, and we're going to align that one. So now you can see we have all of our images aligned, and when you go through, they're each on their own frame. So now what we need to do, I'm just going to close that, is actually add the action script in. So we're going to click on the first frame of our actions layer, and then we're going to go to the actions uh, tab here, or the actions window, and then we're going to start coding this. So we need to say first stop so that it doesn't scroll through the images. And then what we need to do is start giving some items to our combo box. So we're going to say combo box dot add item and we want the I on item to be capital then open parenthesis space open curly bracket space label and then colon and then space couple of quotes space close curly bracket space close parenthesis semicolon so that's basically the setup for each of these add item now it's a little bit confusing with the spaces but once you get it down you can just copy and paste it so inside of this um, what we're going to do is add our uh, options so I'm going to say beach is one of the options um, and then I'm going to copy this and we're just going to make three copies of it underneath and it's going to be really easy to change those and underneath that one we're going to say meadow and then for the next one we're going to say mountains basically a word that corresponds with the picture
and then for the last one we're going to say reinforced. Okay, so now that we have that done, what we're going to do is uh, I can actually show you if we do control test movie, you'll see that in the combo box we have each of those things. And now that I think about it, let's actually add a f different one. We'll add one before that, and we'll make it just say choose a destination. So now if we do control test movie, you'll see it says choose a destination before that, and then you can actually select them. And they're not actually going to do anything yet, but um, once we add the code, they will. So we're going to actually start adding that, and it's basically run with an event listener. So we're going to say combo box dot add event listener, and then open parenthesis, it's an event dot change event, all caps comma and then we need a function name and we're just going to call it change image because that's what it's doing and then we're going to end it with a parenthesis and I spelled change wrong okay and then a semicolon at the end so now we need to do is actually write that function so we'll say function and then change image okay oh my gosh I spelled change wrong again change image okay then space open parenthesis, it's an event, colon, it's an event with a capital E, close parenthesis, colon, void, open curly bracket, enter a couple times, close curly bracket, up arrow key, and then we're going to start adding some if statements. So we want to say if space parenthesis, the combo box, combo box, okay, sorry, um, box, combo box is the selected item with the label of something. So dot selected item dot label and ion item is capital. And then if that equals with two equal signs, space equals equals space, then two quotes, then close parenthesis. So inside of the quotes, what we need is if it equals one of these things. So if the selected item is beach then we are going to do something and basically because we have the timeline set up as it is we want it to go to and stop on a certain frame so we're going to have it go to and stop so space go to and stop capital A and a capital S and then open parenthesis and then since beach is on I think frame frame 3 we're going to put a three inside there. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to hit a semicolon, and now let me test movie, and we'll choose beach, and I must have done something wrong. Oh, it appears that the, oh, I, I know what I did. Um, I said that the beach was on frame three because it's the third image, but it's actually on frame four because of this first one. So we need to make sure that it is on frame four, and that would be the problem. So put four, and then control, test movie, and you'll see there's nothing there. Then we choose beach, and it goes there. So now we just need to add it for the other images. So I'm going to copy that, and then we're going to paste it three times. So now we need to have meadow, we need to have mountains, and we need to have rainforest. All right, now let me look at these, and okay. So we need this one to be on frame two, this one to be on frame three, three and this one to be on frame five. So now we need to do control test movie and now it should work for each of these. Okay, there we go. You can see that whenever I go to any of those and if I go to choose destination it's not set up to go anywhere so it just um, it just stays but you shouldn't be choosing that if you've already picked one place. So you can see that that is working correctly and uh, this is a pretty nice uh, component for giving some options and it's pretty compact so you can put a lot of options in a small place. Um, so I hope you guys learned something about the combo box. Uh, I hope you subscribe, rate, and comment. And uh, don't forget that I'm going to be having a new component tutorial out tomorrow so don't forget to check back and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.